Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Kermis at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you guys how you can uh, model a marble in Maya. And uh, well let's get started with that. So I'm going to s uh, create a ground plane first. So in my polygons menu I'm going to select a, a plane and I'm just going to drag that out in the grid like that. Hit 5 for shaded mode and I'm going to select a polygon cylinder in the same menu and drag that out in the grid as well. Hit W, pull that up and I'm just going to make sure that it's exactly on the grid line. So I'm just checking this from my uh, front view. Alright and I'll check it from my side view as well to make sure that it's nicely aligned. Okay, looks good. So now that we've got that, I'm going to create the inside of the marble. So I'm going to select another sphere. Just drag that out in the grid as well. Pull that up a little bit. And I'm going to hit R and scale that in and make it nice and flat. I'm just going to hit F to zoom in a little bit. Make sure that's nice and flat. Something like that. Okay. Now we're going to duplicate this object a couple of times to spin it around. So um, actually before we do that, I'm going to twist it a little bit. So I'm going to right click on this object, go to face mode, drag select until about halfway. That's not quite half, a little bit better, okay. As you can see, I got my soft selection uh, on, so hit B to turn it off, uh, and hit B to turn it on again. And I'm going to hit E and rotate that a little bit. Now I'm going to do a new selection, slightly less, something like that, and rotate some more, and do it once more just the top and rotate some more okay so there's a little bit of twist in it I'm gonna right click on it go to object mode select it shift right click go to smooth like so okay so now that we've got that shape I'm going to switch my views I'm gonna go to my front view select the shape that I just created and I'm going to hit the insert key to make sure that my central pivot is aligned. And I'm going to pull that down to about there. I'm going to hit F to zoom in. Okay. Yeah, looks good. So with this selected, I'm going to go to edit, duplicate special, hit the option box. And I want to rotate this in this direction. So uh, in my Z, I'm going to rotate that by 30 degrees. I already got one copy, so I want 11 additional copies to make it 12. 12 times 30, 360 degrees should be a full circle. Okay. So make sure you got copy selected and hit duplicate special. And then you get this shape here. I'm going to drag select the whole thing. Go to mesh and combine to make that one object. Now before we put this object inside the sphere I'm going to apply some material to it. So right click on it, assign new material, select the MIA underscore material underscore X like so. Go into your attribute editor or hit control A if that's not uh, up on your screen yet and go to your uh, material tab here. Now, if you select this preset button here, you can select in the drop down menu, glass solid, and hit replace. So we got that. And we're going to change the color of the inside. We're going to make that blue. So select the color tab, select blue, and hit select. Okay. So now we've got that done. Now back to our sphere. We need to make sure that this is absolutely uh, round. So before we do anything else, go to our polysphere 1 and increase the subdivisions from 20 to 40. 
same here so that's nice and clean okay now we're going to position this object that we created and as you can see my central pivot is not aligned for this object so hit your insert key and we're just going to pull that up until it's in the center just going to hit F to zoom in a little bit maybe a bit more okay we're going to pull that up maybe a bit hard to see just make sure it's in the center and hit W okay so now we can start to move that into our uh, sphere like so and if it's you know a little bit too big you need to scale it down by using uh, hitting R uh, in this case it seems to fit pretty well so I'm just going to make sure that it's uh, nice and centered that looks okay from this view I'm gonna go back to this view here do the same thing and that looks about right okay let's see if it looks right from all angles up here so go back to our perspective view now I need to apply some material to my ground plane and to the sphere itself so I'm going to select the ground plane, right click, go to assign new material, and I'm going to go with a Fong E material. Select that, go to your color tab in your attribute editor, and I'm going to select the white color here, like so. And for the marble itself, select that, right click, assign new material, and I'm going to go with the same solid glass, so MIA underscore material underscore X. Go to the material tab, go to presets, glass solid, and replace. And in this case, we're not going to change the color. Okay, now we need to set up a little bit of lighting. So we're going to go to create, lights, and point light. And we're going to drag that up. And I want to create two lights. So I'm going to drag that over here. Hit Control D to duplicate it. Pull that one over here. I'm going to shift select both of them. And then in my uh, point light tab, I'm going to make sure that in the shadow section, I select the use depth map shadows, like so. Almost ready to render just going to increase the size of my ground plane so select that hit R scale it out just uh, quite a bit we're gonna position it for rendering something like that and now we're gonna go to render settings so you click this little thing up here go to render settings now we used um, some mental ray materials for this so we need to render in metal ray as well so select metal ray I'm gonna increase my quality and if you got a previous version of Maya then you have a little bit of different uh, setting here you can select production quality if you got Maya 2014 it looks like this so I'm gonna do that about one for that in my common tab, I'm going to go down and select the HD 720. All right. And now I am ready to render. That's going to take a bit of time. So while I render, I'm just going to hit the pause so you guys don't have to wait for that. Okay. See you in a bit. All right. Well, the render is complete. And as you can see, the marble is looking fairly okay. So uh, I'm pleased with it anyway. Uh, I don't know if this is the best method to do it, but this is uh, the way that I know how to. So uh, hope you like it. Likes and subscriptions are really appreciated. And uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section. And hope to see you next time. Thanks again.